Hey there, Mark fans, and welcome to another episode of Mark's Model Moments. Now, today we're doing 30244, and that's Lego Star Wars Anakin's Jedi Interceptor. This came out as a promotional set in 2014, and it comes with 45 pieces. As you can see, it is opened up now. If you want to see the build, click right here. But if you want to see the review, then just stay right here on this video. Well, here it is then, the uh, Anakin's Jedi Starfighter. Uh, what a model this is. If you've seen if you've seen my other videos, then you'll know that I have a, a selection of uh, Star Wars vehicles that, that are around about this scale, um, this size sort of thing. And uh, I really do like the scale of model for my, for my Star Wars stuff because I'm a big Star Wars fan and uh, I've always wanted to be able to have the collection of Star Wars ships. But, you know, as... You know, money is a big factor in that. I can't buy all the big ships. But so for me, this is great for me. I can get the ships that I like and uh, also fit them all uh, on a nice shelf, so I can display them. So so pretty pretty cool. That said, though, let's get onto this model. This is a great model. I really I'm really impressed with this. I, I like I like the shape. I like the design. I like the lines of it. Uh, the way it all comes together. I mean, the 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 only bit on this that I would say has been a compromise is the the R two unit that is represented here by just a blue stud. But there's not much more they could could have done uh, with that anyway. At least it is represented on this vehicle. Uh, one thing I I I, uh, I do like about the uh, Jedi Starfighters is that you can start to see where the design uh, from Jedi Starfighters merges into Tie Fighters because you know it, that's the natural progression from the films. So if you just if you just kind of uh, you know take off the front bit of the wings here, you you kind of got the start of the uh, um, advanced. TIE Fighter that Darth Vader flies in the episode 4 uh, and uh, which is funny about that because this is Anakin's Starfighter from uh, well not episode 3 technically but around around that era let's just take you around this um, I should have a previous video uh, the TIE Fighter uh, this is what they should have done on the back of the TIE Fighter than what they actually did um, so this this is what I'm going to modify my actual TIE Fighter and put a few of these on the back of it, just because I think it'll look a, a whole lot better. These engines are pretty cool. Uh, the wings uh, are movable, so you uh, f flat them uh, like that when uh, when landed, and then when it's in flight mode, you just angle them down one click at each, and that's perfectly fine. Uh, looking at the front, I mean that's quite men that'd be quite menacing flying towards you. Uh, it's gonna gonna shoot you down. Um, you can see the uh, nice frosted uh, cockpit there with the nice window at the front and that just sort of goes back and uh, curls over the top. Uh, that That is the same piece uh, front and back, just this is the solid grey one, this is the translucent grey. Overall I'm really impressed with this uh, mini model here, uh, it's got the details it needs. Uh, as I said the, the, the one compromise that has been the R2 unit but there's not much more they could have done with that. Um, anyway on this scale but they've done the best that they can uh so uh i can't wait to get this into into my set and uh, put it put it in my uh, collection properly thanks for watching and we'll see you guys on the next more smaller moment good day mm -hmm.